Speaker. Yeah, and it's a pleasure to follow my honourable friend, the member for Ellesmere Port and Neston. Mr Deputy Speaker, the debate around school funding always appears to follow the same tired pattern. Teachers, parents, education, trade unions and the opposition parties all point to the facts, the facts around the increased class sizes, the number of teachers leaving the profession, the lack of adequate support for our children with SEND, the number of expensive subjects being cut from the curriculum, the cancelled school visits because the schools can't subsidise them, the number of teaching assistant jobs which have been cut or reduced, the declining state of the school estate, the request by schools to even put Amazon wish lists out for parents because they can't afford basic school supplies. And there are many other concrete examples of the continual underfunding and the government says we have increased funding for schools. But what they don't say is what they give with one hand, they take with another. They repeat their mantra so frequently, encouraging all those sitting opposite to trot it out at every available opportunity. They are desperate to make us believe that the Emperor really does have new clothes. Well, Mr Deputy Speaker, I'm sorry to say that the front bench are all completely naked.